I call the member for Maitland, and I would I would trust that members in this house will take note of Standing Order 52. The amount of yabbering that was going on on the opposition bench as well, the Deputy Premier was giving reasons for his motion, was disgraceful. Member for Maitland. Thank you, Mr Temporary Speaker. My motion deserves priority because the Pacific Highway upgrade along the Mid-North Coast undertaken by this government will be remembered as the road to ruin for so many families on the Mid-North Coast and small businesses. The performance of this conga line of coalition members, ministers over the last few months has been a disgrace, particularly in the last week. 23 small businesses, their families, their employees and their families and the wider regional community have been seriously impacted by this government, by the financial collapse of the firm Oswald Brothers, which were subcontracted to do it. These family-owned businesses have done the work that this Liberal government, this Liberal National Government asked them to do to save the road, but they have not been paid. And on Sunday, the opposition leader and myself met with some of the affected subcontractors, and we heard stories of families who have been torn apart, of stories of families who have lost their retirement savings, who have had to lay off workers, have had to to go up interstate to the Gulf of Carpentaria and Cape York looking for work. So what's the response of this government? These Liberal Nationals, the small business minister over there, the Deputy Premier, the Roads and Maritime Freight Minister, she's not here. The Premier, she's not here. What has been, what has been their response? They are quite happy to pay millions to foreign companies but $7 million. in this state, and this lot, they walk away from them. It is a disgrace. The heartless and arrogant response from the Minister for Rose, she verbal those contractors. She, the Premier and the Minister of Structure, they talk about due diligence. Where was their due diligence? The Minister for Rose said on the 7th of August last year that she knew Oswald Brothers was in a problem that they were going into financial issues. Why then did she put up a joint venture with Seymour White? Why did she make that announcement? Why did the member for Clarence sit there and turn the sod on a contract which was then turned down and for convenience? This is all about victim blaming. That's all your side of government can do, Mr Temporary Speaker. That side of the House, they don't care $7.3 million to be wasted for these contractors while you've got billions of dollars in overruns that you're quite happy to shell into for big foreign multinational companies. The minister needs to get 